get into that practice with whatever it is, with your judgment. You're going to judge somebody or some situation or a thought. Stop. Learn to be still. Be still. Somebody walks up to you and says, hey, idiot, how many times do I have to tell you that wash the dishes like this or the, that? How many times do I got to tell you that? This could be your partner or your boss or mom or dad. Or... And then you're bent out of shape because emotionally you're devastated. Somebody walked up to you and told you, hey, you idiot. And your whole day is destroyed. Your whole week is destroyed. But what if you just stay still and when somebody walks up to you and tells you, hey, you idiot, and you hear it, but you're like transparent. It's like you're empty inside. There's nothing there. You just look at the guy and you don't react. You stay still. You're driving fast, policeman pulls you over, heart starts speeding up, he comes and asks you for your driver license, whatever. You're still responding, but you're still. Your lover walks up to you, your partner, da 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 da, and then you've been together, you've been lovey dovey, it's been partner of life. Your coming together actually happened during the full moon. You know, it was like one of those special full moons. But then after a few years, she's going to come or he's going to come to you and tell you, you know what? I'm not into you anymore. I don't love you. I'm actually into your girlfriend or your friend who's younger and more handsome. And then all of a sudden you're devastated. It's like your world is destroyed. Ooh, you crash down. That's, these are like extreme example. I'm just using them because I want to share this with you so you understand what I'm talking about. Because um, the time has come. We can't fool around. This is it. You've got to learn and practice how to be still. Stillness. Oh. Nothing shakes you. No news, no this, no that. Finances, economy, blah, 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 blah. You're just like a mountain. You do not react to things. And then when you want, you react, but you react from another place. Stillness. These three things that I shared with you, I mean, in a way, it's, it's like 30 years of 40 years of being a spiritual seeker, maybe more than that. And God knows how many lifetimes before that to come to this wisdom, this understanding is A, the master is within yourself. You are the master. It's here. Look inside. Two, stay quiet. Be silent. Practice silence. Practice going beyond your mind into the abyss of stillness and infinity, mm -hmm. which there are no thoughts. It's quiet. 
And that's where you meet the self. That's where you meet God. That's where you come across Her Majesty the Supreme. Your own being. That's why every once in a while, when you're very busy, you're going, 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 you're really lost in the whole drama or whatever, and you come to this place that you feel with yourself like you have not spent time with me. You haven't spent time with yourself. And it's not yourself, it's it's not the character yourself, you didn't spend any time with it. You haven't spent time with the presence, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Lord God. So if you're surrounded by people and you're busy all the time, you never give yourself a chance to be still and quiet to meet the self, the power, the big kahuna, kahuna, Yahweh, Krishna, that which is always here. That which is always here, it's always present, it's always still. So one of the most important things that we have to learn about being still is also the more you're still the more you become aware of that which is changing the apparent world the maya the ever-changing world is always changing Everything is always changing. And you can't find any comfort in it. So you have to, you have to die into that. You have to die into it. Die into that which is always changing is not real. This becomes like your mantra of life. Anything that changes, anything that comes and goes is not real. The only, the only real thing is that which does not change, that which does not come and go. I'm going to say it again one more time because I want to make sure you understand. The only real thing is Mark my words. These are the words the Supreme Tongue from the highest place of existence that anything can be channeled or message or be brought to you. I am sharing it with you in this very moment. And this is not something I have made up. This is the highest the Supreme Teaching. Anything that changes is not real. The only real thing is that which it never changes. So you recognize that you become free. Because your mind, your personality, your body, your friends, family, everything is changing all the time. But they're changing in front of what? To whom are they changing? Who is the one who's aware of the change? <clears throat> 